All right, how's it going? Let me get some stuff here off the wall. Um, I realize what I'm about to do is jump into the deep end of the pool with the Luker guys. And on some level, that's a little, that's a little scary because the Luger guys are pretty high end collectors. Nope, that's not gonna be a good fit. And you know, it's, you know, I'm not a Luger guy. We have this as a, as a gun and a reference collection, but I want to bring up a subject that's kind of been nagging at us for a while here at the uh, John 1911 Armory. And I uh, would like some advice or feedback as to what you at home Either if you're a Luger guy, or if you are a, uh, you know, uh, an aficionado of this type of gun, maybe some, uh, maybe some suggestions. So, the uh, Luger P08 9 millimeter uh, that we have in the reference collection, it's shooter grade, nothing special. Um, fun fact, though, for those who are new here, it is all matching, including the. Um, including the uh, ubiquitous uh, side plate that tends to be missing, with the exception of one part. The toggle is not matching, which is, you know, a, uh, a tremendous blow to the value of this gun, amongst other, um, other issues. And so uh, it's not matching, it's never gonna be matching, even though it's got, if you see that toggle plate with the matching uh, last two digits, it's, um, you know, it's uh, not gonna be a value. Um, it is a production 1941, as I said, P08 9 millimeter Luger. Uh, it probably could stand to be conserved a little bit, but the issue that we have, let's see if we, yeah, it's on film. The issue we have primarily is with the grips, and here's why. I believe these grips are original to the gun, so World War II production could be wrong. There's no way of knowing. I mean, some of you may look at this and say it's a parts gun. However, these grips are in such poor shape that I am concerned that if we shoot it, it's going to come apart. Here's the, uh, here's the major offender. I don't know if you can see the crack. Uh, and the light's not that good. You can see the crack from this side all the way down. And somebody in the past, in the last 70 years, has even put some old glue and tried to glue it back together. So, you know, as a reference gun... You know, we can leave it on the wall and, you know, we can pull it out and do stuff with it. But if we ever wanted to shoot it, my fear is these grips are going to come apart. So, fun fact, over at Shooter Supply in Loveland, Ohio, uh, I've seen these uh, these white grips in uh, in their case for a number, for I mean, for a couple years at least. And I think they have them for 10 bucks or something. And, um, you know, I just happened to, happened to mention it. And uh, they said, go ahead, take them, you know, take them home and see if they fit. Uh, these grips, they are plastic. They're not ivory. They are cut for, cut for a, uh, an older Luger, possibly with a grip safety. An interesting fact as well with these, see if I can find the mark. When was the last time you saw something plastic that said that was made in America? This was actually made in, let's see if I can get the, uh, get the show up on film here. Uh... Sports Incorporated in Chicago. So I don't know if that'll show up on film, but Sports Incorporated in Chicago. Well, these don't quite fit. They, um, they're a little small. Um, they're either, you know, they're just, they're just, you can see there's just no way that this is gonna fit. So, uh, and uh, shooters, I guess maybe there's a theory that maybe older original, older reproduction plastic grips from the old days, they might shrink, you know, who knows? These are, they're, I mean, they're like 10 bucks, so. We're gonna, you know, we'll we'll take them back over. So, the question is, do I, do I uh, trash these grips and get rid of them because they're not worth anything? Because they're not original to the gun. You can see there's a chip here uh, in the back, and uh, or do I get on the internet and try to order some brand new, some brand new either reproduction or you know, age-appropriate grips for this gun, and then just you know, just shoot it. So I guess the, uh, the the real question I'm looking for here is: Do you think these grips are worth keeping, or do you think they are? Um, you think we should just uh, shit can them and uh, just replace them with some other aftermarket product? Because these are, you know, the chances are this is a pseudo parts gun, 
It could be just something that somebody threw together. And, you know, I'm not really educated enough on Lugers as to whether we should even try to keep these. So what we would do is if I'd get replacement grips, I would probably just leave them on the gun, but we would keep these if they're worth keeping. And that way we could just pull this off the wall and shoot it without risk of, you know, it damaging anything. But who would you recommend I get grips from? There's, you know, higher end companies like Nil and, you know, or maybe just some generic, some generic grips, you know, off of eBay, you look and, you know, I'm not going to get anything fancy. Um, definitely not going to get anything white, but do I just get some generic grips? And also besides getting a grip that is not cut for a grip safety on a Luger, do you have any feedback as far as what I should be looking for when I buy uh, grips on the Luger market? I don't want to end up you know, ordering something off of eBay, there's tons of them off eBay or even on Gunbroker, or then turn out, surprise, they fit just like these do. So if you have any comments or feedback, please leave them in the uh, comment section below and I'd greatly appreciate it. And then maybe we can do, you know, we can do some follow-up videos and talk about some of the issues that are uh, taking place with this gun. So we are gonna be uh, making some video changes around here. You'll hopefully see that in over the next, you know, maybe say month or so. So yeah, that's about it. So. Please check out our website at john1911.com. That's j-o-h-n-1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and making sure you don't break your Luger grips. Everybody, have a good day.